Hey guys, alright, we're gonna start on chapter 7. Comedy interlude. Leo has a big comedy gig and can make a good impression that went over the audience. Go, get me booked for future gigs. This has nothing to do with picking up girls, it's just like a freaking comedy night. Hey Richard, how's it going? It's Leo. Yeah, good man. Hey, do you remember, you're still coming to the comedy club tonight? Yeah, nice one. Hey, could you do me a favour and just make sure you don't bring Mahmood? Oh. That's because uh, last time he was here, he got up on stage. It was an absolute disaster. I had big agents in to see me. He ended up getting more laughs than me when he got his ass out. Yeah, they signed Darius Davies instead. Yeah, they probably do regret that now. Anyway, man, cool. I'll see you later on. Cheerio. Bye. Freaking my mother. <laughs> Richard. My man. The man himself. The legend. Super seducer. <laughs> How should the MT introduce Leo? With big full introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a real treat. The penultimate act is a BAFTA winning comedian, Oscar nominee, and the new host of Saturday Night Live, and Miss Princess Meghan Markle's favourite comic. I want you to give him a warm round of applause beginning now. Come on, for Mr. Leo! <laughs> what the hell? Hello, good evening! How to start? Welcome everyone. Hello, my name's Leo, I'm from Scotland. Any Scottish people in? Yeah! Nice to see you out spending money, that's progress! <laughs> First joke. Stop the preaching joke about Scottish food. Susan Boy joke. Discussing hay fever joke. Evil puns. A. I love coming to this city. The food here is amazing because the food in Scotland is absolutely shite. Like one of the things we do is the deep fried pizza. Don't know if you've seen this thing. Basically what we do is we get a shitty supermarket pizza. We put cooked chips on it. We fold it in half and seal it so you've got a sort of chip calzone going on. Then we batter it and deep fry it. And do you know what it's served with? Chips. There's not even a sprig of parsley on this thing. Like this is a nation just dedicated to self-abuse. Well, like, they're gonna do a series of man versus food in Glasgow, but it was pretty obvious that food would have just fucking killed that guy. Hey everyone, we've got a special guest in the audience tonight. My friend Richard is here. Everybody say hello, Richard. Everyone, hey. <laughs> and ladies, Richard's single. Richard, I'm going to try and find you a girlfriend tonight. All, all the single ladies, make some noise. Sorry, Richard, I, oh. I tried. <laughs> me too. Hashtag me too joke. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting older, but I don't understand all the stuff that people complain about these days. Like, like some of the Me Too stuff, like, I totally get it. Guys like Harvey Weinstein, that guy's an animal, you know what I mean? That guy should be in jail. But some of the other people, like somebody complained that Dustin Hoffman asked her for a blowjob like 20 years ago or whatever, and she felt uncomfortable. And it's terrible that she felt uncomfortable, but that's how we get blowjobs. You've got to be proactive about it. You've got to get out there and start asking the tough questions. You can't just sit at home on your couch waiting for a face to fall on your dick. <laughs> like, man, I've got to do all, do all the, like, chasing in relationships. We've got to get out there, like, do the life. If women just met us halfway, if, like, a woman came up to me and was like, do you want a blowjob? I'd be like, yeah. yeah. Then I wouldn't have to ask anybody for a blowjob. I like how Richard's the only one that's, that's into it. <laughs> what 
the heck? I don't know what's going on with my testicles. They're the weirdest part of the human body, all wrinkled up. Mine, mine look like Gordon Ramsay's forehead. Like if he was a werewolf. And, and they're constantly moving, constantly doing this weird slow dance, just gently adjusting, like gently rolling over each other, adjusting for heat or optimal sperm production or something. Like have you ever sat and watched this? Like not mine. Like, have you ever, Richard, have you ever sat and watched your testicles? Yeah, they just keep moving. Yeah, yeah, this is a wise man who knows the pleasures of looking at, looking at your testicles. If you haven't seen this, go, go to the toilets after the show, testicles. have a look at your testicles. If you don't have testicles, don't worry, just follow Richard, he's going to give a demonstration. <laughs> Next joke should be about six factivities doing a shit on holiday nightclubs. Uh... Doing a show on holiday. I went on holiday recently. Like, I went to Thailand, beautiful country, but, but their toilets are just not up to my needs. Like, cause I'm a big guy, I do big jobbies, and there's something about a long haul flight makes me need a massive shite. I got to Thailand, I was absolutely I like the way he says I went shit. straight he to my accommodation. Shite. First warning sign, they got a sign on the wall saying, please do not put toilet paper down this toilet. I'm like, if your toilet cannot deal with a couple of sheets of the flimsiest paper known to man, like paper that's designed to disintegrate on contact with water, like what's going to happen when I do my five kilo Dundee cake shite in there? And I found out, I did this massive shite, you know when a shite's so big, you're not sure if you're having the shite or the shite's having you? Like it was like a snake shedding its skin, like a, like a hermit crab leaving to find a bigger shell. And it, and it came out in a one -er, like one of those core sample ones with individual layers corresponding to previous meals. Like Cocoa Pops, deep fried pizza, it was amazing. I've got a photo of my phone, I'll show you after. But it, but it came out in a one -er and wedged above the water line. And I was like, what am I going to do with this thing? Because they, they didn't have a flush in the toilet. Instead of a flush, they had a basin with a cup in it. And the idea is that you cup water into the pan to get rid of what's in the pan. So like rather optimistically, I start cupping water onto this shite. Like, never mind flushing it, this water was evaporating before it reached the bottom of the shite. I wasn't flushing this shite, I was just basting it. Just, just filling the hut with this brown fog. So you know what I did uh, to deal with it? Am I the only one that doesn't find it funny? It's only paying like four dollars a night. You should imagine some Thai guy had to come along and chop it up with a coat hanger, but none my problem. <laughs> All right. Yet nothing's harder than trying to make women come. Like the female orgasm is the hardest thing to, to achieve in the world. Like my ex-girlfriend, we used to we used to be in bed. Like me coming, I'm 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 so quick. I'm so quick. I'm like I'm like uh, I'm precision engineered in Germany or something. I'm like the Google search engine. Like yeah, there have been 2.5 teaspoons of semen in 0 0.0016 seconds. Like my ex-girlfriend would be lying in bed and she'd be like she'd be like make me come, give me an orgasm. Like I've got no idea why she sounds like a Scottish man, but. She like make me come and uh, it, was, it was like it was like the internet download bar. Like it's gonna be thirty minutes, it's gonna be ten minutes, it's gonna be one minute, it's gonna be thirty seconds, it's gonna be five 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 seconds. When are you gonna stop? It's gonna be thirty minutes. Uh, more shit puns. Yeah, I love watching football. I walked past this pub that was showing the World Cup final, and I had a sign outside saying 22 men, one cup. I oh thought that God. sequel's got a bigger production value. I also like watching women's weightlifting in the Olympics, because I love to see a good clean snatch. I mean, I love to see a good clean snatch and jerk. Am I right, guys? All right, party time. I saw the German Chancellor the other day, she had a triangular pubic wig, it was an angular merkin. Then I saw the Israeli Prime Minister, he said, he said, Leo, you can't email me, I'm not in Hotmail. I was like, Ben, do you mean not in Yahoo? Man, if you like jokes about the Middle East, oh man, you ain't seen nothing yet. Just Kuwait. Yeah, man. You know in Iran everybody's scared of spiders, but in Iraq no phobia. I went to the Middle East recently to get a suntan, but I came out of my hotel, I was like, bah, rain. I thought it was going to be Sunni, but the weather was Shiite. I had Dubai an umbrella. I've got nothing against Islamic fundamentalists, I just don't like it when they ram it down my throat. 
Yeah, it's nice talking to you. I hope you all get home safe. Cheerio, bye. Yeah. Leo Kirst, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on, I know he's a bit of a minger, but he did all right. Leo Kirst, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Leo. It doesn't seem that very engaging with the audience. Oh, you did pretty well. Not the best ending, but not the worst either. So pretty good. Basically, room for improvement. Okay, I don't know what was the point of that chapter, really. Um, how many more is there? Should I do the rest? I mean, I guess. Alright, 